Sarah's getting the camper ready. If you haven't noticed, well, how would you notice? Because we haven't put this up yet. So we used the tent a handful of times. It worked great, but it just, you don't feel the safest in it. So we got a topper. We got a topper for this beast. Look at how good it looks, huh? Look at that thing. So it's, you know, obviously we're not going to have as much headroom, but we're going to feel a lot more safe in there. In the tent, you're just like, oh, gosh. An animal could hop up there. I mean, is it going to happen? Probably not. But, you know, these are the things that go through your head. And, uh, you know, if someone, Jason Voorhees, wanted to kill you, he could cut through your tent pretty easy with a knife. So we went with this topper. And the crazy thing is, I saw this for sale for a while from a dude. I should close this so don't... Actually, it's not very dusty out here. We got a ton of rain yesterday. Um, so anyway... So any who's... So I was watching this topper for a while. It was actually before we bought the tent. So I knew he had it for quite a while. Which is always good. That's one of my tips for you guys. Then you know you got some leverage to some wiggle room and actually he has brackets here i gotta put the the roof rack on it yet so anyway he had started it at around 600 bucks and he kept dropping it and i ended up getting it for 300 bucks an eight foot lear topper made for our truck matches the paint we stole that thing unbelievable I gotta gather some wood oh yeah we're gonna try this little it's smoke free it's actually a um, pellet stove but a lot of people were saying they put wood in it and it worked great so we're gonna try that and we're gonna compare it to just a regular fire I gotta go gather some wood which hatchet do I want to use this one's I don't know I like the I kind of like the wood handle. We're going to get that other blanket. That other heated blanket because this one just really is tiny. Yeah. And I think we'll be more... Well, we'll try it tonight and we'll see. Yeah. I mean, I've got the, the controller up at the head end. Um, and you ran the cord back here to plug in? Yep. I ran it all on the side of the truck. And... Then, yeah, I'll put the sleeping bag on top. So yeah, that little ch kind of checkered snowflake one is a heating blanket. And then we usually use this last time. We have a, I think it's a 2400 watt inverter with solar panels. And we just plugged it in there and we got cold. We just turned it on. And then we just had some extra tarp. So it actually worked perfect. We were able to cut it there cut it there just for little screens and then for now we just put wood dowels in here and wrapped it up we got some lights and i mean we literally did some of this stuff yesterday just to make it worthy of camping so all right so let's get some wood let's go chop some shit up i already chopped it down i'm just gonna carry it back look at that sarah's already cold Already putting on her jacket. That's why we live in Arizona. <laughs> Here, I'll hand you the camera. See, there's more over there. It's just laying there after I saw. <laughs> after I chopped some of this down. Yeah. Plenty. You could burn some horse poop. Don't want to get those prickers in your shoes or in your legs. Eek! That would hurt.
I don't even know how to aim these. <laughs> I haven't shot in 20 some years, and it was a compound, not a recurve. So don't judge. Don't tell me everything I'm doing wrong. I know. Let's see. All right, I missed. Oops. I missed from 10 yards away. <laughs> Well, that's good. I've never shot anything like they call it instinctively. You know, usually it has sights and everything. So, holy crap! I'm way to the left. <laughs> I'm flinching like crazy. I can feel it. Like scared. I don't think I'll be hunting anytime soon. Yeah, you'll scare everything away. <laughs> they, won't, they won't be scared. <laughs> <laughs> what in the world? I am shooting like a foot to the left. From huh. 10 yards away. I didn't think I'd be this bad. <laughs> I'm going closer. You know what? It's just for fun. Yeah. This finger tab I don't like. Just, I don't know. I'm a blunder. I'm just going to try once with no finger tab. It hurts your fingers, but... Nice. Finally landed it. Professional. <laughs> Professional. Well, you didn't hit the green bullseye, but you did land your target. Well, we can edit it where all these shots, I just Robin Hood every one of them. <laughs> and then I can just be like, you know, this is way easier than I thought it was going to be, so I'm just going to quit. <laughs> I hit the target. Yeah. Bonus. I feel like this is something, I don't know, it's like I said, like if I could cinch this up so it doesn't keep moving on my finger. Yeah, you need one of those little cincher things. Yeah, like a little... We have them. Like on your shoelaces, because it moves around so much. Well, like on the tent bag and all those things, they have tons of them. And I well, feel like too, like it... We'll find one. Yeah, it really rubs on the knock of the arrow, which is kind of weird. Huh. Ooh. That was close to going off. <laughs> Hi. It's cold.
So let the countdown begin. We got about four to seven minutes, it said. I don't know. You're the one looking into all that. Yeah, I think it said like four to seven minutes. Forty-seven minutes ain't been a long time. <laughs> Just kidding. Not forty-seven. Oh, that Ooh. looks good. It's starting to stick. It is. In the middle. Looks delicious. This rock isn't really the flattest, so it's like sliding off, you know? That looks really good. <laughs> Can I have some? Mm. <laughs> I just got some smoke in my face. I mean, I could just eat right out of this. Why even use a plate? Mm, yeah. I mean, it's going to be hot. It's hot and heavy. Yeah. That pan. Oops. Hot and heavy, just how we like it. <laughs> oh, it smells like a like an egg croissant sandwich. Well, that's what it is. Yeah, but it smells <laughs> delicious. I just got a whiff. Yeah. That's awesome. It's got to be like done. I don't know. I no? It's hard to I'm, I'm not sure. I need a knife. I mean, because how many minutes do you think it's been? Look at it. It's oozing out right now. Yeah. Ooh, that's the. Ooh, that's like egg. I know. I think you packed it too full with that crust, but... Ooh, the crust is like squirting yeah, out. Yeah, because guess what? It has no room to move. <laughs> I'm glad I'm making my own. I can't make another one. Why? Because you ate all the eggs. No, there's one left. Maybe I should just put it in your pan. Good. Yeah. Oh. Man, that fire's burning quick. Look at that, guys. Ooh, egg, bacon and eggs and avocado with some sriracha. Mine's a fail. <laughs> Mine's an epic fail. I didn't get you. Mine's an epic fail. I don't know, it might turn out. But I figured that croissant, though, was going to expand and push all your goodies out. Why don't you cut it in half and see what's going on? Okay. There's a knife. I just used a knife to cut my gourmet breakfast that turned out great. Oh, yeah. It's soup. Yeah. It's soup. I just cut it open completely. And then we'll just stock up those coals a little more. It's sizzling. We had to <laughs> improvise. It was yeah. a, it was a little raw in the middle. Yeah, we had a little too much dough, and yeah. it was 
exploding yeah, the, in the pudgy pie maker and oozing egg out everywhere. Yeah, the pudgy, the dough is expanding and pushing out all the cheese and the yeah. And the uh, gonna have nice egg. little, nice little. We got fires galore. Croissant sandwich, egg sandwich. Ooh. Here, let me hit that. Oh, I can't reach it. I was gonna hit it with some spray. Basically, uh, season it again. Let that kind of cook on there a little bit. Cast iron is the way to go. We, that's all we use at home, unless for like a big, like, <laughs> saucepan or something for boiling or whatever. Yeah. All right, we're gonna try. How does it taste? Very mm. doughy. I think you lost half your egg dripping into the fire. A little burnt tasting, but really, really good. You want to try a bite? <laughs> it looks like all dough. It looks like it, but like right here's egg and mm. bacon. See like right there? That's egg and bacon. Egg and bacon. <laughs> you lie. Mm. Mm. What do you think? Yeah, it's a little burnt. It's a little burnt tasting. A little but... burnt tasting. Mm. Well, mm. we'll let you enjoy your burnt dough. Mm. <laughs> no, it's good. Ooh, we gotta take that pan off. Where's yeah. that? Here. I got it. You eat. Oh. Take that go. off. Look at her sizzling. Look at her smoking. Oh yeah, that's when you know she's seasoned. The bad thing with cast iron pans is it attracts Sasquatches. So now tonight we're going to have to make sure there's no Sasquatch running around wanting doughy goodness. <laughs> Look at those clouds rolling in. Wow. All right, well, we're going to enjoy the campfire. Look at that sunset. Rise and shine, right? Yeah. Holy crap! Yeah. We survived a night in the um, in the topper. Sort of, kind of. We survived. It was a it little was, chilly. It was a little rough. <sighs> I was sandwiched up against the side of the truck all night long. And then we're gonna make a little morning coffee. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot <laughs> the old coffee grounds were in there from last week. So we left we left in a hurry. That's nice. We can use them again. <laughs> <laughs> They're cold and frozen in there. Oh, gross. Yeah, what was the temperature again this morning when we woke up? I don't know. Right now it's 48. Right now it's 48? Oh my goodness. Yeah. So it's probably like 41, I think, was what it was supposed to get down to. Garbage somewhere here. Oh, but the sun is shining. Birds were chirping. <laughs> <laughs>